Defence Counsel for Pangakad has asked the court to employ an element of mercy when it hands down sentence. He's argued that life would be a death sentence of sorts, seeing as Pangakad is now 58 years old, and that he would be 83 when he could even be considered for parole. We are not talking about a slap on the wrist. We are talking about a very, very stern sentence which the court must uh, hand down, but one that shows that we as society respect and value life and human values, even if it is the accused that may benefit from it. The rehabilitation process will not be able to play, play itself out fully if the accused has no or very, very little hope of ever seeing some sort of freedom again. The state, however, has called for direct imprisonment and the application of the minimum sentences for the rape and murder charges. Pangaka's arrest for Tasne's murder opened a Pandora's box of heinous crimes committed against children. Several more charges, including rape and sexual assault, were brought against him. He's been convicted of 10 charges of sexual offences relating to children. At the time of Tasne's murder, he had absconded parole after his conviction of culpable homicide. Not only did he take away her freedom of movement, but also violently attacked, raped and immobilized her. Uh, and he was not deterred by her resistance and showed her no mercy. The National Prosecuting Authority says it's pushing for multiple life sentences. We argue that he never showed any remorse. He never showed any mercy to his, to his victims, which includes some of, uh, of the most vulnerable within our society, which is children and mostly women, and mostly it's children, which he targeted, uh, he raped, uh, he abused. And he, the last one was eight years old, Taz Nifanvek, whom he kidnapped, raped, killed, and even cut off her hand. Taz Nifanvek's parents have indicated that they'll comment when sentence is handed down on the 14th of February. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.